Ever you wonder how doctor operate deltopectoral approach? Let's break it down position the patient. Put a soft bolster behind the scapulae to protect them. Elevate head, end of table 45 degrees. Break at knees and elevate legs. Place arm on arm support. Prep and drape with full shoulder exposure. Make a straight incision along the deltopectoral groove from the coracoid process, cutting fat in the same line. And identify proximal fat triangle. Marks interval between pectoralis major and deltoid. Bluntly retract fat to expose cephalic vein. Dissect superficial fascia along the deltopectoral groove following cephalic vein. Caution, avoid damaging cephalic vein. Ligate slash cauterize medial cephalic vein tributaries to free vein medially. Develop the groove between deltoid and pec major. Retract the cephalic vein laterally. Make a one centimeter snip in pectoralis major near its humeral insertion to aid LHB exposure. Adduct arm to shift axillary sheath, brachial plexus, and vessels. Out of surgical field. Incise fascia lateral to conjoin tendon, ensuring incision stays lateral to muscle part. Caution. Avoid injury to musculocutaneous nerve. Retract conjoined tendon medially. Identify LHB by retracting the field laterally. Externally rotate the shoulder to put subscapularis on tension. Place stay sutures and subscapularis at the myotendinous junction and second, just inferior to. Identify the anterior circumflex vessels in the lower fibers of subscapularis and ligate them. Attention. This only applies to arthroplasty surgery. Identify the inferior capsule by locating the axillary nerve. Incise subscapularis longitudinally. If lesser tuberosity fracture, incise 2 centimeters medial to muscle. LHB, do not incise. Caution, wrist to axillary nerve. Retract subscapularis medially. If performing hemiarthroplasty, take capsule off with subscapularis caution. Risk to axillary nerve. Incise the capsule to access the joint with incision shape and position based on surgical indication. Caution, risk of axillary nerve damage.